I've got to be honest with you. You're going to die tonight. I know, I know, and I'm sorry. I don't want to do any of this, but I have no choice. Look, just stop crying, all right? I'm trying to do the right thing here. Look, it's important to me that you know why I'm doing this. Okay, it's not gonna be much consolation, but you're the last one. After this, she'll leave me alone. It all started about five years ago. I had no home, no job, but I had my music. One day, I was busking as usual, and a woman started walking towards me. There was something about her. I, I can't really explain it. She put a tenor in my guitar case, gave me this amazing smile and just walked away, didn't say a word. I couldn't shake the feeling I felt when I saw her. It was like I could trust her, but I didn't even know her. A week went by and she did the exact same thing. And the next week, and the next. Then one day, she stayed and invited me for a drink. Of course I said yes. If there was any chance she could help me, I'd take it. She was just as I imagined. Charming, sweet. She reminded me of my mum. She told me that she admired my music and that she had a big opportunity for me. I jumped at the chance. Didn't think twice. As soon as I shook her hand, she changed. She still looked the same, but something in her eyes switched. I asked her why she was doing all this for me and she just laughed. I'm going to give you everything you ever wanted. Fame, money, respect. She said, you expect all that for free? She didn't want money or a share of the fame. Nothing so simple. She wanted souls. Now, I know what you're thinking. This all sounded plausible up to that point. Souls. This guy's obviously batshit crazy. And I'll tell you what, maybe I am. But I'll tell you this. I don't believe in God. Heaven, hell. It's all bullshit. There's no higher power, no afterlife. No one's gonna save you, or me, or anyone. There is only the devil, and she runs this shit show. Ninety-one. I had so many souls she wanted, and I provided them. The first one was the hardest. So much blood. But after that first kill, a local venue owner saw me busking in the street and offered me a gig. By the tenth kill, a local music producer had offered to record one of my tracks. By the time I'd killed 50 people, I was headlining the biggest shows in town with a full album under my belt. You know, by then, the killing had become easy. Something I had to do, like tuning my guitar. But then things started to go to shit. I released a second album and it flopped. Big time. My label dropped me. I couldn't afford the payments on my house anymore. Everything was fucked. So I confronted her. She broke our deal. She promised me my dreams and I held up my end. She laughed. Again. You've had your fame, your riches, your success. I've provided you with everything I promised. I never said it was going to last. The bitch was right. And even if she wasn't, she's the fucking devil. What am I supposed to do, call a lawyer? I lost everything, but I still had 17 souls to go. And this time, I was getting nothing in return. It dawned on me how heartless I'd become. I couldn't take it anymore. There was nothing to live for besides more death. I couldn't undo what I did, but I could still save 17 lives. I slipped my wrists in the shower, but I couldn't die. She wouldn't let me. I tried again and again, but it was no use. I just wanted to die, but my debt must be paid.
You don't believe me, do you? I'm serious. Watch. Ninety-one. 